G'day, g'day. Uh, a bit of a side quest here. I've been asked to dump the firmware from this BMS. This is out of a Nissan Leaf. Uh, not this exact one, but this one. So most firmware files are available to purchase from Nissan, except this uh, particular BMS. And these are located inside the battery inside the Nissan Leaf, and it's a pretty big job to try to get it out. So someone's asked uh, if I can extract the firmware from a BMS that I've got here. I got this from um, Yahoo Auctions in Japan. Anyway, um, it's read protected, so we need to glitch it to get the, uh, the, the data out. So I'm using this Tang uh, Nano 9K to generate um, nanosecond width pulses, um, which glitches the internal voltage supply for the MCU. And at just the right time, uh, if you do the glitch right, you will bypass the read protection and pull the data out. It takes around about 12 to 24 hours um, per 64K, and we've got to dump out around about 380 kilobytes. So I'm expecting a few days to get this out. But uh, yeah, this is the quick um, the overview. So basically we need to remove the reset management IC. Uh, that'll constantly reset the microcontroller if there's no heartbeat or if the voltage uh, glitches at all. So we want to get rid of that. We need to add this uh, MOSFET here, which is being triggered by the Tang to um, shunt or short out the internal supply. Um, what else? We need to remove the decoupling caps off the supply and we need to uh, isolate the serial um, connections from the microcontroller to all these um, voltage measurement ICs here. So once that's done, uh, we run this app here and we can see it. Uh, it takes a few minutes, up to a few minutes each time. There we go. Oh, oh there we go. And you'll see it here populating the uh, firmware file uh, as it pulls the data out. So we'll come back here in around about, uh, I don't know, 24 or 36 hours and we'll see how far we've got.